So we call scars like this on a tree cat face because for hundreds of years, humans collected sap from pine trees and they would make angled cuts in the trunk of the tree and dig out a box or cut out a box below where they would put little pots and the angled cuts would direct the sap flow into the box where they'd make those angled cuts. So those angled cuts looked like uh, cat whiskers, so they end up calling it a cat face, and the resulting scar would end up looking like this once the tree was not really being used anymore or when that practice was, was given up. And after around World War II, when there was a big push of forestry peoples that worked out of the southeastern United States where it was still going on at the time, the sap collecting, the term cat face became popularized uh, in the West or everywhere else in North America or most places in North America for this uh, phenomenon we call a tree hollow or a tree scar. We call this a cat face. But I really don't know anybody in forestry that doesn't call it a cat face. So now you know.